What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. For those who like the longer videos, here you go. Because there's a lot I had to say about today and what Foodie's been doing. And I want to start with some context. This is about two weeks ago where she talks about what she will and will not be discussing. And she has four focuses here. Financial matters, pet care, marriage, and personal relationships. And I want to focus on personal relationships in the beginning of this because to so many of us, faith is a personal relationship. It's the embodiment of a personal relationship. And when you talk about being permitted to pick and choose what you want to share, and you do this using that you don't want people to be contacting others and be invasive, I want you to keep that mindset when we look at the two videos she did today. The first of which she live streamed from her car, where she sang songs from the 80s, where she basically was very jovial, focused on people's image. This comes after her doing posts about people's images. And there, this very private person, this person concerned about people knowing where she goes, where she is, what she's doing, then drives to a mosque. Now, to put some perspective on this, when you go to Home Depot, when you go to Best Buy, you're in a certain frame of mind, right? I have to go to Best Buy today to pick up a console. I'm not going to be thinking about purchasing a hot air balloon while I'm there. Just not going to cross my mind. Might now that I've said it, but I really am not in the hot air balloon market. So when I see Foodie sitting in her car at the mosque, I don't see her reading the Quran. I don't see her discussing her relationship with Allah. I don't see her talking about how this conversion has changed her. I don't see her focused on the current situation with the earthquake in Syria, which, by the way, is where her husband is from. Food is what is first and foremost on her mind. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Beyond that, to go back to my analogy, when I go to Best Buy, I will be prepared to walk in the store, show my phone, get my console, walk to my car and leave. Foodie goes to this mosque knowing she is not prepared to go inside because she's not wearing the proper attire. She does not have her prayer rug. So what was the point in going there, right? Simply to show which one that you plan on going to and putting all of these people now within the realm of having to deal with you. Because certainly, someone will contact this place. Certainly, someone will tell them that you're going to be showing up there. And absolutely, more than likely, will be showing them the things you do while prescribed to this faith. It honestly blows my mind that she goes there acting as if she has the intention of respecting this building as if she has the ideology that she will go in and do what she is supposed to and instead realizes she is not prepared physically or through the supplies needed to go inside. She talks about food and comes to the conclusion that the best thing she should do is drive around this building with a camera hanging out the window just like she filmed her vlogs. Now, she hits a curb in the process of doing this because she's not paying attention, because she doesn't respect nor care where she is. Her focus is getting to Arby's, I suppose. Now, I've questioned her driving multiple times in the past, but to me, hitting this curb was the minorest of infractions. But it still shows, as I've said, her carelessness, her lackadaisicalness, her desire to be an entertainer while driving will ultimately cause a problem. And even though today she was just unaware of where the curbs were in this snow-covered parking lot, she did drive into one. Wasn't the worst thing we've seen her do, right? She just didn't understand where the islands were and bumped one. As, as crazy as this may seem, I'll give her a pass on this because I don't think it was really related to her reading the chat or not paying attention. I think it was more just 
in two weeks since she's been home, she's never been to this place. And I think her hitting that curb shows us that. She's never been here. Her intention was only to go here today when she wanted people to see her go to it so she could monetize this faith. She then drives around the building and compares it to the ones in Kuwait. I don't think these people really want anyone driving around their building filming it. But needless to say, that is where she is, what she's doing, and it really is sad. It really is sad to see someone use faith as a pillar for content to be monetized. Especially when they have zero desire to follow through on this faith. You know, as I've said in multiple videos, I am not a religious person. But that does not mean that I don't respect others' beliefs enough not to make a mockery of it. And there is no two ways you can look at this. When you go someone when you go somewhere and you know you're not dressed appropriately, when you know you don't have your Quran, when you know you don't have your prayer rug, you are making a mockery of it. When you sit in the parking lot and you talk about food rather than what you're there to do, you make a mockery of every person that is there. And when you show yourself going there, you open every one of those people up to be subject to your public ridicule. And for a person that sits here and constantly projects that she needs to have her life private, that people need to stop contacting others, she can't have an open house. Chantal, this is the decision that gets you into these predicaments. Because there are people that watch you, of your 94,000 subscribers, that follow this faith and respect it. And I'm certain, far more than me, they are tired of seeing you degrade it. They're tired of seeing you disrespect it. And I'm certain they will look at this building, they will call this building, they will tell them your name, who you are, what you do, what you've done, when you'll be showing up, and that you were in their parking lot today. And I hope, I actually hope that they do. And I hope when you try to go there and continue this mockery of faith, that they don't let you in. That they see what you've done. Because it's inexcusable. And again, I, I find some... I don't know the word I'm searching for. I, to me, it's odd for me to sit here and talk so highly about someone's faith because, as I said, I don't subscribe to it the same way. But I still am impacted by seeing someone make a mockery of it. I do respect others' faith enough to know this is wrong. And it is sad. Just as what happened with the earthquake is sad and the fact that she has zero compassion for those people. Which technically at this point, let's be fair, can in some ways be quantified as her people. I think every day people can come on here and talk about the lack of respect she shows for herself, for her relationships with Sala, with Pete's, with her cats, with Natter, with her audience. But th this is taking it a step further. Right? This is taking it a step that many people don't take. I remember when I was younger, Opie and Anthony had a radio show. And they encouraged an act to be done in a church. And people were outraged. Outraged. And I feel like if people saw what Chantal was doing in these situations, there would very much be the same public outrage. Because this is just not something that's accepted by many people in society. Yet she continues to do it. She could have let go of this, you understand. She could have just said, listen, I take gummies every night. I don't care anymore. I'm not wearing this attire because she's not wearing this attire. She's in leggings. And I'm done projecting this to you. Instead, she makes the conscious decision to continue to attempt to do it. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.